Well, the Urban League has been involved with the Growing Grills for probably about the last six or seven years. Uh, it's a great program. It's a program where young people get to learn a little bit about their history and their heritage. And they become great storytellers and carry on the tradition as, as Mr. Stanley Butler, Bunjo Butler by his uh, storyteller name. Uh, he started this program with us in the Urban League and uh, any Pratt Library, the Great Blacks and Wax. I will now, and certainly the, the Growing Real Circle of Maryland, which is the current operation. But we've been involved, as I said, for a number of years, and we've been, always enjoyed the relationship, working with young people in the ages of uh, 10 and, 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 and 17, really, to get them involved in participating in their community and giving back. The one thing I would say that young, young people, not only for the young people, but for the adults, it requires us to be involved in our lives. As they say, it takes a whole community, a whole village to raise a, to raise a family. So it's important that the adults get involved in the young people's lives, but it's also important that young people understand that they have a responsibility to learn about their history and about their heritage. And this is a great opportunity for them to learn that and learn how to work with others and learn great leadership skills. One of the great things about the Urban League and our participation in this program through our young professional organization, that's our young people between the ages of 21 and 40 who are professionals in the Baltimore City region, are able to give back to the community by participating and providing a number of valuable workshops that the young people participate in during the year. Um, according to the U.S. population of the United States, the National Health Interview Survey of 2009 stated that African American men are more likely to develop lung cancer and are twice as likely to be diagnosed with prostate cancer as white people. That may be true, but the Greater Baltimore Urban League has been working with organizations like Eli Lilly, Health Resources Incorporated, among others, to address the issues of depression, Alzheimer's, diabetes, and cancer. The Greater, the Greater Baltimore Urban League has two programs. The National Day of Service Initiative, which promotes HIV AIDS, awareness, testing, and education, and lifestyle series promoting proper nutrition, physical fitness, health care, and prevention of disease. Now is the time. But for African Americans, it's a whopping 12.6%. The Greater Baltimore Urban League Career Center has now successfully launched its own online career site. Over 2,000 job seekers have posted their resumes on the site. Not only that, the Greater Baltimore Urban League sponsored the Community Technology and the Training Center, which also helped provide opportunities to develop a technical training workforce that benefits businesses, communities, and residents of the Greater Baltimore Metropolitan Region.
Hello, my name is Bunjo Butler, Stanley Bunjo Butler. I am the manager of the Walbrook branch of the Enoch Pratt Free Library, uh, where the Griot Circle sponsored Growing Griot Literacy Program is held for the last three years. With the help of the Greater Baltimore Urban League, we've been able to create a learning environment for our children where they learn leadership, where they pick up cultural values, where they pick up the ability to enhance their literacy skills. We thank the National Great Blacks and Whites, the Injured Workers Insurance Fund, and the Griot Circle of Maryland for their participation in helping to make this program possible. We look forward to you contacting S. Butler at the Walbrook branch of the Enoch Pratt Free Library to find out how your kid can be involved. If I had a word of advice to young kids, it would be to say to them to take advantage of your youth. That means to learn, listen to your parents, to have dreams and goals and aspirations, because if you have none, you'll reach none. I'd like to welcome you to the culminating graduating event for the Growing Griots Literacy Learning Program. It is a 25-week program instilling positive attitudes, presentation skills, life lessons to our young middle and high school students in the African American community. This is a very important program in that this curriculum is taught nowhere in our Baltimore City or County public school system. These are stories about the heroes and sheroes in the African American and the African community. These are stories that teach them that they are some part of something larger than themselves, that there's a greatness inside of them that's inherent just by being African and African American teaches them about the gifts that they have and not to let anyone or anybody convince them that they are not great and wonderful. So this is why this program is so important. The streets will fill their heads with a lot of dollar signs and drugs and teen pregnancies, but if they understand who they are and whose they are, they will be able to resist those temptations. And we hope to see great things from the graduates of the Growing Griots Literacy Learning Program. And we, the mentors, Mr. Butler, Ms. Fakule, Ms. Jones, Alfred, and myself, vow to be a part of these young people's lives from this day forward. And they can count on us. Thank you.